Hey everyone, my name is Simpsy. Hey, all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4 Road 56 mod here today on the channel. We're back with episode 6 of my democratic Winston Churchill United Kingdom campaign. It's August 1946. The Allied forces have now landed on the east coast of China. Shanghai is under our control. And the Korean Peninsula has nearly been liberated. We're trying to create a long land bridge as well. Connecting all of this Chinese and Korean coastal territory. We're only 230 days off getting those devices. Uh, we wrapped up that war against the Soviets. And now we just need to wrap up China and Argentina. Which are holding us out in South America. Where the last of the... Europeans that, uh, well, Axis sympathizers that they've, that they've fled to. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. The Italians hold Sao Paulo. Uh, Musa is uh, currently operating things out of Sao Paulo, which is hilarious. There's been a fair few cool exiled... Uh, governments, you can say, with Japan fleeing to the Korean Peninsula quite some, for quite some time. They were wielding exceptional naval supremacy still from there. Converting all the dry docks operating out of Pyongyang. Uh, Italy obviously fled to Brazil, <laughs> Contro controlling that territory, helping out the Argentines, which opposed us. And... Who else was there? Eh, no, not really anyone else. Oh, nice. Little push. Oh, we're only a couple tiles away from Sao Paulo, actually. But after this crazy... Oh, wait, hang on. No, Korea has actually officially been liber liberated. They're actually their own faction now. Oh, nice. A united Korean Peninsula in 1946. Democratic as well. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, they are slightly pushing us back here. With the fall of the USSR and China taking most of the Eastern Siberian territory, it's actually weakened them quite a bit. But, um, what was the point I was going to make? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Why was that all terminated? Oh, okay. Bear with me. The civilian factories went offline. Oh my god. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh. Yeah, right. For a crazy, um, unhistorical campaign. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a good one. I do love the wild and wacky chaotic nature. It's uh, really the UK and the US divide, and their allies, to be fair. Their colonial network in Africa and the South Pacific. Dividing and conquering what would be the Axis and the East Co uh, prosperity sphere did well okay so that's the new capital man I didn't think how much of a pain Argentina would be to take okay so it looks like we're about to throw down those Europeans that fled Sao Paulo is about to fall but yeah, even with the US so closely by and in their neighborhood, they're still holding on. Okay, back over here. In China. Oh, they've actually pushed us back there slightly, but we've been battling it out tooth and nail. It's like one step forward, two steps back there on the coast. We actually might be doing better in the Urals. Overall. So hopefully here today, we can finish off Argentina and China. 
A whopping 1 point million manpower the UK has. What are we looking at? Casualty wise. Uh, we got air supremacy over the top. Nice. As the US is regionally administrating most of South America now. Yeah, it's just because not all of China, sort of that southern jungle territory, we're not at war with, which is annoying. There's a couple of small, sparse Chinese warlords holding us back in some choke points. Oh, here we go. Indian autonomy. It's probably about time, 1946, October. I'm surprised they're not dependent. They've been incredibly helpful in that plateau. Are we about to deal with the small Russian autonomous area? <laughs> like, why aren't they in the Allies? That we uh, formed in and around Moscow, like that neutral zone. Alright. Okay, we're pushing slightly. Oh, yeah, it's, just, it's if we can just get that free flow of resources from basically Korea to the south, which is good. Oh, we actually might better encircle them there. Only 700k for the Argentines, only 4 million. This is not going to balloon to like a 50 or uh, 100 million loss rate, but it's probably going to be up there quite a bit. Okay, looks like we're winning in Brazil. It's just literally Argentina left. Buenos Aires and Sao Paulo still defiant. Brasilia, not the capital in this run. We we're so close, but now it's um, turned into a massive stalemate. Oh, I thought something happened then. As we're slowly calculating. Halfway towards capitulation, the Chinese. Argentina, not so much. That's looking a bit better. We seem to have stabilized this front. Will this go to 56? Uh, probably not 56, but maybe to the 50s. December now, 1946. Pushing into Manchuria a bit easier. Oh, this is so much better. Look at this. We're just surging. Oh, here we go. That Indian autonomy is about to kick on off. I'm sure Winston isn't too overly happy about that one, but we'll have to do it. You want me to decolonize the empire? So we've got the Dominion of India. Democratic, still loyal. They're probably going to get a decent chunk of that. Himalayan slash Nepal slash Tibetan Chinese plateau because they uh, really helped us in and around that area quite a bit and fought for it. China are nearly done. Chile still holding. No, Argentina still holding there. 
push into Wuhan. Oh, here we go. Air supremacy over the top. Oh, I think we've got them now. They look a little bit stretched in and around that area. Oh my god, there's a mass encirclement here. Here we go. A lot of Danes in there. Go on, you great Danes! <laughs> Sweden and Norway somehow managed to rena re uh, re um, remain neutral in this series. War support's still going up because we're about to get that W. Afghanistan neutral there. The Swiss! I didn't even comprehend that. They must have joined the Allies. Good on them. Swiss doing the right thing, joining at the last minute to help on out. Oh my god. Got a crazy amount of divisions. Yeah, I think going with the um, manpower is probably the best play. Like, you've only got a limited amount of resources. If you're going to rule the waves, you need to put a lot of it to that. And then that sacrifices the, um, armoured. Like, the US is going to have more resources than the armoured. We can focus on manpower. It's not hard to clunk together a couple of rifles or two. And get colonial infantry to help on out. Men of the Empire and the Commonwealth. Okay. Only a matter of time now. As allied forces are dominating the air over China. We even go with naval production now anyway. Winston doesn't seem fit to really go and use any other path of the tech tree just yet. We're pushing into Siberia. <laughs> Alright. A brand new year. January 1947. Will it go to the 50s? Maybe. China is still holding on. They did quite well with that Japanese pact. Lasted a lot longer than what I would anticipate. It's either they don't really do anything and Japan leaves them alone or they conquer them. Haven't seen them ally together before. Oh, there's a bit of a push here in Chile, actually, by Argentina. It's because we're focusing on China, about to be done, and then we can focus on South America here. Man. Got to give it to Argentina. They have been an absolute pain in my side. And what is this, like Uruguay? Where the Austrians and Italians are holding on up? Seems to be. Two million now. Added on to that, so that's three million for the UK. It's not too crazy. I'd say nearly two million have probably been sucked up here in China compared to about 500k each for the Germans and the Italians. Sweden neutral, democratic. Surprising. Settings the Swiss got involved. Some of these pushes look promising. But we've landlocked them now. And I think we've actually taken all their ports. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, so we have access to rudimentary atomic weapons. We just need to construct the reactors. Getting better quality ships, of course. Improving them ever so often, so we might be able to drop one. We've got uh, logistics being built. We do have some reactors on the way, but yeah, I'm focusing on infrastructure. Oh, Winston is, rather said. Okay. Still pushing into... 
the Chinese mountains now. We've cut them off there. We've completely surrounded them there. There's a couple small pockets in too. Manchuria that we might be able to potentially take. But things are looking very, very good. Well, unfortunately on that note, it's time to wrap things up here. Hope you've enjoyed episode 6. We haven't got enough time here today. I don't think we're going to be able to capitulate either of them just yet. Seeing it's, it's taken us this long already to get halfway there. Well, I'm living on the prayer. <laughs> anyway, uh, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay tuned for episode 7 of the Hearts of Iron 4 Road to 56 mod UK campaign coming out soon. We're probably about to wrap things up.